while some senators are down by the border playing commando. Donald Trump is busy pushing Republicans not to sign the bipartisan border bill for fear that it would benefit Joe Biden in November. But some Republicans are pushing back. Welcome into TYT Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence. Yeah, un unfortunate that he would step out and be able to see that right away before obviously he had had a chance to be able to read it as well and to be able to go through it. The key aspect of this again is, are we as Republicans going to have press conferences and complain the border's bad and then intentionally leave it open? After the worst month in American history in December, now we've got to actually determine, are we gonna just complain about things or are we gonna actually address and to change as many things as we can? Republican Senator James Lankford has been very vocal about his party failing the American people by refusing to advance the bipartisan border bill, all because it may make Biden look good. If, if I go back two months ago and say we had the shot under a Democrat president to dramatically increase detention beds, deportation flights, lock down the border to be able to change the asylum laws, right. to be able to accelerate the process, no one would have believed it. And now no one actually wants to be able to fix it and says, I don't want to even debate it. I don't want to discuss it. We have to decide right. as Republicans, what are we going to actually do about the border? The senator from Oklahoma was so committed to the cause, he handled Elon Musk on the matter by Elon Musk, who posted, quote, the long-term goal of the so-called border security bill is enabling illegals to vote. It will do the total opposite of securing the border, unquote. Uh, well, I, I think he needs to go back to doing the two million Teslas that are currently being recalled right now to be able to focus in on that. No, it's not focused on trying to be able to get more illegals to vote. That's absurd uh, in the process. On it. it is against the law for anyone that is not a citizen of the United States to be able to vote in the United States in any federal election. That remains so. Obviously, we're not dealing with that. Unlike many pro-Trump Republicans, Lankford appears to care more about national security than gamesmanship, much to Trump's chagrin. Here 45 is on Dan Bongino's radio show. There's a bunch of online Twitter that's saying, well, President Trump endorsed Senator Lankford. Yeah, you know what? I get asked for endorsements all the time and people let you down. But we've got to yeah. stop this. Is there a possibility of endorsing an opponent to Senator Lankford if they don't back off this? Because, Mr. President, this bill is not a MAGA bill at all. This isn't a, this is yeah. a keep every, this is a make everyone else great again bill and make America worse bill. Well, just to, to correct the record, I did not endorse Senator Langford. I didn't do it. Uh, he ran and I did not endorse him. Uh, so uh, I'm sure your person will be happy to hear that. But yeah, I think good. this is a very bad bill for his career, uh, and especially in Oklahoma. Fact check, that's false. Trump did endorse Langford, even if he doesn't like what the senator has to say now. And let's not overlook the low-key threat against Langford's career by pushing the border bill. Anyway. You know, I won in Oklahoma. He's senator from Oklahoma. I won 77 out of 77 counties. Ronald Reagan is second with 56. I won all 77 counties in Oklahoma. Though I know those people. They're great people. They're not going to be happy about this. Nobody's going to be happy about this. But... The people in Oklahoma are, you know, these are serious mega. These are serious people. They are not going to be happy about this, Dan, when they see right. this. This is crazy. This is lunacy, this bill. And you know what it is? It's a gift to the Democrats. I don't think, I can't imagine it gets done. In response to Trump's attack, Lankford was courteous enough to issue another fact check for us also remind folks during the Trump administration, we also had days of more than 4,000 people that were illegally crossing the border under the Trump administration in 2019, and they were struggling because there's gaps and loopholes in the law. Apparently, the border wasn't so grand under Trump's administration either, but you'll never hear that from Donald Trump or any of his border patrolling minions. Down on the southern border, getting ready to head up in a Black Hawk helicopter, patrol the border, to see exactly what's happening, to see the chaos that is unfolding as we have for a year and a half had open borders under Joe Biden. So do you think Lankford's career will survive his willingness to advocate for the border bill? You let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Hit those like and follow buttons. And thanks for watching.